has shown that, the, that President Reagan was right on many issues. I think, too, that he uh, brought together the nation after he left office, the dignity he had, the, the, the confidence he had, and the faith that he showed as he faced his final challenge, the, the Alzheimer's disease, and how Nancy Reagan was by his side, I think earned a lot of respect from people who may have not uh, liked his policies before or felt like they were on the outside. At the same time today, uh, Reagan is still a very popular person, and uh, he's, he's a person that uh, has a strong following in America. Uh, again, many, many people came to support him, the old Reagan Democrats, they called them, and then the, the Republicans that were brought along uh, with President Reagan. Uh, so I, I think you'd be hard pressed to find people who, aside from a few foreign leaders who have boycotted his funeral, uh, <laughs> but uh, other than that, uh, within the United States, I think that he just has, has a, a lot of affection from the American people and that will be reflected in the folks that the American people elect. How important is it for, for gatherings like this in remembering uh, I, the former I, I president? Think it's very important to remember President Reagan, uh, particularly early in his life and the, the inspiration he had for this nation, uh, the faith that he demonstrated uh, to the world, uh, and the, the prominence to which he restored America and the pride he restored from the American people. Uh, president Reagan, my, one of my favorite savings, sayings of his was that um, America is too great of a people Americans too great of a people to uh, think small thoughts and to dream small dreams. And uh, America's still dreaming big dreams, and uh, I think Americans are still dreaming big dreams, and uh, that's a vision for the future that, that we all continue to share. I My name is Matthew Dredson. And where are you with me? St. Thomas Episcopal School, Pipe Bend. And you were just brought out here for this uh, tribute to Reagan tonight. Uh, how, long have you been, how long have you been doing this? Fake piping? Well, I've been playing the pipe since fifth grade, and that's been about five or six years now. Yeah, I know I've seen you at many functions, firefighters and such as that. You pretty much just basically get someone's call on something like this. So. Yeah, they always call the school and they'll get the entire band or just ask for someone. It generally goes through the school. Okay. Yeah, how do you spell your last name? D R E C U N, but it's pronounced Dredson. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about this now with uh, them putting this thing together for Reagan tonight? Oh, I, th I thought it was nice. It was a nice gesture to put this thing together for him. Okay, so what's your feelings on, uh, on, on President Reagan? Reagan was one of those folks that was underestimated by a lot of people, un underappreciated. He was a, a tremendous leader for this nation. He was a man of deep moral conviction and a deep conviction that what he was doing for the country was right. And in the end, he was proven that he's proven right, that what he was doing was right. He turned the economy around. We were in a state of, of uh, what was called stagflation. The economy was had hyper, hyper inflation, hyper uh, interest rates, uh, job losses, and, and uh, millions of unemployed. And he turned that around through uh, an economic system that was known as Reaganomics. Uh, it was a derided by many, but he turned out he was right, and the economy turned around, and he, he brought with that a whole generation of Americans who understood that what he was doing was right for America, and ultimately gave him the largest election victory of any president in this century. He was convinced, too, that he needed to win the Cold War, and his courage of his convictions and his faith and his, and his, his creator and his knowledge that what he was doing was right led him again on that same quest. Uh, to eliminate the Cold War and eliminating what he called uh, the evil empire of the Soviet Union. And he was right on that again. And he did ultimately uh, lead to the, the dissolution of the Soviet Union and the new republics of, of uh, Eastern Europe that are now uh, allies of the United States and part of NATO and our increased business and friendly relations with Russia and the ability of the, 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 the wall to fall down in, in Berlin and the reunification of Germany. All of that can be traced back to 
uh, President Reagan and his initiatives. He's, he's been uh, one of the most significant leaders of, of not only America but the world for this century. You see a lot of times too, uh, I mean, he went in at such an age, he was fit, quite old when he went into the presidency, coming from actor and uh, mm -hmm. screenplay to, to this and held on this long. And just his wife so devoted to him also sure. on this whole time. Every time you see her yeah. on television, she's smiling and everything else. Perhaps Reagan's greatest legacy is his later part of his life. And that's one of the things you do see is that how he faced that ultimate challenge, the Alzheimer's disease and the decline of the last few years, how he and Nancy came together, again, with a strong faith in God and a belief in the future in spite of the challenges they were facing in the present. And again, for President Reagan, I think he, his, for him, he always believed, as he did for America and the greatness of this country and the people of this country, that the best is yet to come. And I think that he lived that up until the day he died. Nancy Reagan lived that up until the day that, that, that the president died. And, and you continue to see that strength within that family today and that inspiration for this country through that strength. And kind of the way this, the funeral is coming about, too. I mean, it's been back to Kennedy days since sure. you've really seen a funeral like this. Again, and Reagan was one of those folks that inspired the nation. He, he much as Roosevelt, uh, Franklin Roosevelt inspired a generation through World War II and the trials of, of the middle part of the American century, last century, as Kennedy inspired a generation, uh, Reagan has also inspired a generation and transformed American politics and through that transformed America. And you're seeing that respect for the president and that influence that he had not only on America and the world in the funeral that you're seeing and the, the, uh, the devotion that you're seeing in this country to him and the ideas that he stood for. Oh, what's your name? There Terry you Mosher. Terry, what brought you uh, to organize this and bring this around tonight? Not such a quick notice. Kate, you need help doing anything? One of my girlfriends and I were talking on Sunday how if we were able to, we would go to California just to go pay our respects in the where he was lying in California, or we would go to D.C., but we couldn't. And we knew of nothing in the city of Houston that was could be considered any sort of a tribute, and so we decided that you know, if we worked hard enough, we could get something organized. And it was our way of paying our respects to President Reagan and allowing others, if they were able to get the word, to do the same. What, basically just uh, word of mouth and email? I know schools out there had to be very difficult to put yeah, oh, something like this together. It was pretty um, challenging, but you know, schools out, we um, you know, so all the people that we ordinarily would have known who would have come to this. Most of them are out of town already, and um, you know it took us a day and a half to find a venue, and so we really just got the venue yesterday. But we were depending upon the public service announcements from the radio stations and um, emails that were being sent out. But we knew that whoever God wanted to be here would be here, and we weren't worried about numbers. This was our way of honoring President Reagan. M-O-S-S-E-R. Suspect.